Hey everyone, this is Thruveen and in this session I am going to talk about one of the interesting power ups tip and trick. In this session we are going to talk about how we can draw horizontal and vertical line separator in power ups. So now let's get started. First of all, let me talk about the business scenario what we are going to cover during this session. Let's say for an example, this is one power of form which I have created. Here I have two different columns, title and product category. Now I wanted to make some UI changes to my form and wanted to make a form like this where I should have this type of horizontal and vertical line available to my form. So how can I achieve that? Let me explain you that thing here in detail. So first of all, let me customize my power apps form over here. Now I wanted to add horizontal and vertical separator over here. Now how can we achieve that? First of all, let me, cha let me change the layout of my form and let me make to the horizontal layout like this. And now let me do one thing. Now we are going to add some separators here. Before we do that, let me just arrange these particular fields properly over here. So let me just select this data card and let me just drag and drop these fields over here like this. And same way, let me just change its width. So let me convert it to 0 0.4 and then let me just change its position like this. Now let me just arrange this particular four fields as well. Now we want to add the line separator. First of all, let's add horizontal line separator over here. So let me just select my data card here. Now I want to add horizontal line separator. Now in power apps, we do not have any line control available. So we need to use one trick here. Go to the insert menu, go to the icons option and from icons just select the rectangle. Just scroll little bit down. And here at very last we have the rectangle control available. Just select that rectangle control and just add into this particular data card. So I just added this rectangle control. Now we want to make some modifications over here. First of all, we want to make its height as 1 because we are creating the horizontal line here. So height should be 1. So let's make its height as 1. Then width should be parent dot width. So let's convert to parent dot width. Now we want to make its border as 0 and then we just want to change this color from here. So let's change its color like this. So it will clearly visible to us. So this type of line has been created. Now we just need to arrange this line like this. So the separator has been created successfully. Same way we just need to have the similar rectangle available into other data card as well. So let's copy the same one from here and let's select this particular data card and let's just paste this separator here. And now let's change its position over here. So let me just select this rectangle here. And now let's change its position. So the separator should be available here. Now we want to make the vertical line separator. So how can we do that? For that go to the icons and then select the rectangle again. And now let's do one thing. Consider its width as 1 and let's make its height as around 250 pixel. Uh, we need some more height consider 350 yeah so based on your requirement just set the height now just try to place that properly here and now just adjust the height according to the requirement right so that has been available like this 
now what we want to do here is we just wanted to make this border as zero and then similar way change its color for your separator so i'm just selecting this color so the separator will be looking like this let's decrease the height a little bit so let's consider around 320 pixel yeah now same way let's say for an example we want this separator to create the similar box so let's just copy and let's just paste properly we just place here let's place one more right so this is looking like this now we just wanted to make one separator on top on the horizontal bar so let's just select the top bar now select the same rectangle to the same data card and paste that similarly and now let's just arrange that properly so let's select that and let's arrange that right now let's play and check so you can see that the separator has been created successfully so isn't that amazing so with this trick you can add any line separator for any of your control let's publish the form and let's check the things and here we are the form is looking like this amazing so this is how we can create horizontal and vertical line separator in power apps if you have any question related to this topic you can add your question in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel if you have request for any other video related power platform you can post your comment in the any video of the section so i will accept your request and prepare the separate video for the same stay tuned with me to receive the daily notification on Power BI, Power F, Power Automate, Power Virtual Agent, Teams and SharePoint related video exclusively on my YouTube channel. If you wish to receive the daily notification about all my new videos on your WhatsApp number, just click on this link. It will be redirecting you to this form. Fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification about all my new videos on your WhatsApp number. Stay connected with me. Have a great day. Goodbye.